have a lot of things to do today, everyone. Welcome to Hermitcraft, where my face is extremely snowy. Uh, I'm not gonna liken the dirt. I'm not gonna liken the dirt. I'm not gonna do it. We have a lot of work to do today at the base because I do feel a little bit bad that I've left my neighbors with this cobblestone and dirt atrocity. It's fine though, because we will fix it. Right, Mackenzie? M Hello? Mackenzie, you look a little different. Why is Mackenzie a redstone lamp? Hmm, let's see. Yep, redstone. This is pretty complicated redstone. I only know one dwarven man who could be capable of this. I guess we, I guess we have to wait till night to see Mackenzie actually light up. Hold on, Mackenzie. I'll wait. Whoa, Mackenzie. <laughs> wait, that's actually kind of cool. Mackenzie is like winking. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. I couldn't imagine a better face for our Mac. Now, <laughs> we should get back to work, shouldn't we? I've done a little bit of building between episodes out here in my village. As you can see, the dock area is now a little bit more polished and I could not be happier with this. It's absolutely lovely. This whole area is really coming together. One of the things we need now is to definitely clean this area up and get a better path to my starter house up here. I really need something. No, 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 Hi, bro. Hello. Do you want to build a portal? <laughs> <laughs> a portal? <laughs> a portal! Would no, you like Anna. to light it today? <laughs> <laughs> I have some flint and steel. <laughs> We're going to the nether right now. Okay. <laughs> we can go to the nether. <laughs> Come on, let's build Yay. a portal. Let's put it down here somewhere. Down here? All right. So right here in the open then, right? Yeah, do it. Go. Oh, literally right here? Yeah. Is that right here? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. This that's, is where it's going to be then. That's right? perfect. This is, this, is, this is the gem portal. Uh -huh. She's doing uh -huh, totally corners right. and everything. I have a whole stack of obsidian. Look, do you want it to be even bigger, gem? Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Magnifique. Wow. Absolute yeah. best portal out here in in. in okay, in, in that's, a, that's enough. Ever possible. That's, that's enough obsidian. But, uh, that's it. Are you sure? No, no, no. Well, you want more? You want more? <laughs> no, I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think that's fine. Oh. After Pearl constructed my weird little portal, it was time for her and I to enter the nether and get to work on our own little nether tunnel that would lead to our bases off of the hub. Our tunnel is a little bit awkward to work within because it has three bases so close together. So it was a challenge to squeeze all three portals in, but luckily in the end, we were able to figure out where the portals should go so that all three of us could have our moment to shine in this nether tunnel. I'm really happy with what we managed to pull off here. This was such a fun project. Pearl and I sat in this call for four hours straight and just built and built. We had no plan in mind really, but you can really see here the organic process of just creating a build. I love building with Pearl. Her and I are super compatible in build styles and also personalities. It's such a treat to get to sit down with her and work on a project. So here you can see us actually marking out the rough shape that we want with stone and what do you know, dirt. This is reminiscent of my current mega build. This is the exact process that we're going through. We're just going through it here in a much faster and smaller scale. After the shapes are all marked out and we're pretty happy with that, we come in with our color and our detail and we do the entire detailing phase. And I love that we're doing this because this is such a good reflection of what's currently happening at my mega base. So although this is four hours long and I am sort of speeding it up here, I hope this gives you a good idea of how we actually go about doing these builds. Pearl even got a chance here to teach me a little bit about terraforming and some texturing, which I really appreciated. And overall, this was a fun project that turned out absolutely amazing. Even if I was sort of losing my mind by the end of the four hours. Gems. Those pictures. Ow. It Ooh, doesn't gem. hurt. You're so tough. It doesn't hurt. That hurts my very soul. And my face has got a gem-sized fist mark in it. You know? It's kind of rude. Ow. She don't again. <laughs> Damn. You're fine. I'm not fine. All right, we just been building for the last four hours. Ow, she's doing it again. <laughs> Jam. Yes, we have been building for four hours. My attention span can't take it, Pearl. You've been pacing a lot. I yeah. get noticed. 
I know, I'm pacing. Because I'm just, I'm too fussy with my little details. You've been pacing You're for a You're perfectionist. Bit. Go on, I am. It's All never right. done in my mind. It's never it's done. It's done. <laughs> it's absolutely done. It's so pretty. It's done. And we did it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. We need to do a final touch, though. Mm-hmm. Got to do things. I have purple signs. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I got pink, I got magenta, and I got purple. Perfect. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, now the other side. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, hold on, hold on, and then... Blink. Perfect. Whee! Jimmy Folsom, Pearl Soup Group. <gasps> wow, a great tunnel. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Very we'll get colorful. all the transitions between the three different styles. It starts off with the alien biome, and then it goes on to a bit of a mix with impulses biome, and then it goes to Gems Portal. Look at the look at this lovely portal. Mm -hmm. Strong in quartz with a decapitated head on top of a it's bush. Got my head. Very elven. It's got my head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got impulse down here. Uh, we kind of. He kind of got shoved a little bit in the corner because we had portal problems. He had to go underground. This is all it was. Yeah. yeah, it's really hard to get these three portals to be separate portals. We're mm -hmm. very close. So we tried, but it works like this, and we tried to bring him up a little bit further with the pillars on the sides and with all the copper, and I think it still works. I think it looks really nice, and it's a cute little corner. And mm -hmm. I like it. And then we go up here, and this is my portal up at the back with all the mushrooms and my little egghead. It's perfect. There's no brain cells. Don't look at the outside, because it's like someone threw up a giant slug. Uh, and attached <laughs> onto another hub. Uh, whoops. Inside out building. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gross. It's great. <laughs> it works. I'm so happy we did this. This is good stuff, Jim. Nailed it. Good job, Pearl. <laughs> good job. Whee! And we're back in the overworld. <laughs> Something about this view just makes me so happy. This base has come so far. And now it's got a portal eyesore in it. I like the idea of having our portal down here in the village as sort of a village square area. Now that I've shaped this sort of dock area, it feels like we have a lot more space here to work with. So I think we'll build something there. First though, I think we should do a little uh, July cleaning. Is that a thing? This village is admittedly very unorganized at the moment. So I feel like we should clean some things up, get a path through into that center area. Just, you know, uh, make it make sense. We'll chop some trees and stuff. I feel like we really need to make July cleanup a thing. Maybe just at the start of every month, me just going over my projects and sort of cleaning up after myself because I'm kind of a messy builder, I'll admit. Okay, so I've taken a second to clean up sort of a little staircase that winds its way up to my starter house. And then of course we have the path that goes up to the mega base. So I'm quite happy with that. However, while I've been here, I've received a lovely message from Beef asking me to visit. So let's cut to that clip, shall we? Beef is west. <laughs> this hub is epic, although a little framey for me. Sorry about that. Really cool though. I think. That's the portal. What'd I do? Oh, cool. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. Thanks, Beef. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Beef. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I just heard footsteps come up right up next to me. Okay. <laughs> it's the silent approach. Works well. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, welcome. Check it out. I'm working on your card as we speak. This is what I've so far. This is so cool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you you have a pretty cool looking card, I think. That's incredible. I mean, they're all incredible, but I think mine's the best. I'm not biased. I agree. It's just the best. I agree. I'm not, I, and I don't say that for everybody. I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Totally. I believe you. The reason I asked you here today, by the way, was because of these values. You see these red numbers on every card? Uh-huh. I see them. You're going to push the buttons to determine how high your number. The higher, the better. I'll just say okay. that. Higher um, is better. Yeah. Good luck to you. Etho got the absolute lowest numbers you could get in each of the categories. Good. Okay. <laughs> so I so just got to beat if Etho. You're looking for yeah, if you're looking for a baseline <laughs> of what to avoid right here, anything higher than those numbers is great. 30 and 70. Okay, Etho, I could do it. I could do the Canadian's justice. It's fine. Here are the magical buttons you must press in any order. Any order is fine. I press all three in any order? Indeed. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Uh, this one. This one. This one. All right. Let's see the numbers you got. Three hundred. One hundred. Whoa! Really? Sixty. Oh my goodness! You Am I strong? Are by far the most powerful card so far. Good. That's like that's it's fantastic. not even close. Nobody has rolled a 300 for their HP. Nobody has... I mean, only one person has rolled a 100 cub secondary, ah. secondary attack. And then the 60 primary attack is pretty standard. Uh, actually, no, wait. The 60 primary attack is also the highest? So, uh, yeah, you can say I'm an overachiever at pushing buttons on droppers. But Beastary is really cool. You should check out his videos if you haven't had a chance yet. I mean, look at this. Whoa. This is epic. It's so cool. <laughs> thanks, thanks. It's uh, They're actually really fun to make, so I'm having a good time. And it's raining. I feel like the rain might be a punishment for me getting distracted about a thousand times so far in this episode. Regardless, though, we're going to continue our distraction from the mega base and focus on this portal because, uh, well, it's got to go, doesn't it? Just hold on. Give me about ten minutes to break all this obsidian in the rain. I'm fine. I'm not sad about this. This is fine, Pearl. Right, now that's clean up. I'm hoping to create this portal in sort of an elven-inspired fashion. It'll be like a centerpiece down here on this area. A main hub where people can pop in and out of my base, and they'll be presented with the village and the back of my mega base. Now, since we have all this obsidian, I'm actually feeling pretty generous about our portal situation, so I think we'll actually do four portals, one facing in each of the directions. I'm not sure if that'll actually work with the tunnel, that we just did, but I thought we'll give it a try. Right, uh, it's time lapse time, everyone. Let's do it. Ta-da! The village center. <laughs> it's a nether portal. I really like this. I don't normally do nether portals like this, just out in the open as their own structure. I feel like this really works. Now, importantly, I do think it's missing a few details and I am just gonna put a quick flooring in here just in case. Now, hopefully when I light these, they connect up exactly the way they should. Okay, let's test it out. Huh. Okay, I did it. <laughs> that worked. This is my portal in here and when we go through it, it hooks up to my village. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Okay, that is epic. I'm very happy with that. Now, importantly, of course, there are a few details that I still would like to work out with the surrounding area, and also some details that I could probably be doing with some amethyst, like maybe we get like a cool pattern here with this. Just to pull some of that purple down into the ground, I feel like that would look epic. After a little bit more work, I think this is the sort of pattern that I'm feeling. Now, of course, the grass down here will probably be mostly changed to this cobblestone. It'll be textured though, uh, same as when it is over here. So I'm really liking this mossy cobble and the site gravel sort of situation, but I'm just not ready to texture the whole thing quite yet. This place is looking much cleaner. There's just two eyesores right, right there. So this over here is definitely a classic case of uh, villager abuse. I'm sorry, I'll work on it. I'm thinking that these two villagers could actually live in this village and be pretty useful to us. I'll put one over in the greenhouse and one in the blacksmith and that'll take care of these two for now. Just gotta finish out this window to make sure they won't be able to escape. And I'll grab a smithing table so that hopefully one of these villagers wants to become a smith. Okay. Please behave. Please. No, 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 the smithing table, the smithing table, the smithing table. No, 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 no. No, where are you going? This is why I haven't moved these villagers. Now, there's a perfectly good bed right in there. Can you, no? Oh, for goodness sake. Maybe they're going to this bed. Hold on, I just break a couple things. Okay, dude, there's a bed in there. How about? You go to it. No, 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 no. Where, where, where could you possibly be pathing to? Please. You have negative three brain cells. No, don't be a leather worker. No, don't be a farmer. You're a smith, right? You're a smith? Great. Thank you. 
Now, the plan to keep them inside and also to still have this village be pretty organic is pretty simple. A trap door like that makes it so they can't actually use the door and then we just have to put the door back like that. And now the villager is stuck in here being a lovely smith, thank you. And we can still come and go. All right, one villager down, one to go. Hopefully this villager wants to be a farmer. Hello, oh, you're already a farmer. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it down. And you're gonna go to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here? No, where are you going? It's this, right? You've locked onto this. No, 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 you're not a mason. You're a farmer. Yeah, thank you. Yep, there you go. In you go. That's it. You could do it. You could do it. Yes, good. That is perfect. Thank you. I gotta trade with that one to lock him in now. And of course, we'll use some of this stuff at the dock here to make it look like little bins. Ah, oh, this will be perfect. Literally so much nicer and cleaner already. I love it. With order restored here at the Elven Village, I feel it's time for a new project. 119 is here. 119 is on Hermitcraft. And somebody has put something very special in their shop that I want to go check out. Oh, it's good to be back at spawn. I haven't been here in a little while. I believe Joe Hills has a shop in this cave over here that sells something that I want. Whoa, <laughs> this is huge. Here we are, Joe's shop. Welcome to Mixolotls, now with tadpoles. Joe's shop has tadpoles. So it's one diamond per button press. I'm gonna do three button presses and hope that I get mostly tadpoles. Oh! I got it! Oh wait, I probably didn't need three button presses. Cool. I've got some frogs. I've decided that a portion of my mega base must be dedicated to the frogs. So the birch trees have got to move to make room. Since this area is probably going to be the garden space in our mega base anyway, I figure a pond and it won't hurt. Here you go, little tadpoles. Oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing tadpoles. Oh, I just love them. They're so cute. Now that we have tadpoles living in the mega base, I feel a sudden urge to uh, clean up the place. Since we've done so much cleaning of the village this episode, maybe it's time we finally get back to the mega base. Now, you may have noticed that I left all of the wool from our original outline on the ground. I did that because I wanted you to be able to see how our original plan turned into 3D form. But uh, it's 3D form now, and I still haven't cleaned it up. So what do you say we get to that? What do you think, little pig? Quick little uh, cleaning session, huh? It'll be perfect. <gasps> oh, hello, little frog. Look at that frog. You match my hair. These frogs are so cute. And just as the tadpoles are growing up, I'm almost finished cleaning up the wool. Might as well just take these bridge supports all the way up to the dirt. Yep, cool. These shears are getting dangerously close to the end of their existence. The good news though is this looks so much cleaner with just that small change. Huh, what do you know? July cleaning. And we'll have a little look at our progress. Yes, <laughs> so there's just a little bit left to remove. But that looks so much cleaner already, I love it. We'll soon be able to move on to shaping the rest of it and detailing and coloring in everything. I'm excited. Oh, I also decided to work on this map area and we can actually update this one before I lock it because this should now have the updated village that we worked on today. So let's have a little fly over. Oh my gosh, yes! It looks so pretty. I I think we should be able to go ahead and lock these now, like so. There we go, our progress so far. So I imagine us having three or four of these, one at the very start, one at the like third of the way finish point, and then two thirds, and then finish. This gives me a lot of hope for this project. I'm really enjoying the pace that we're going. I feel like it's really sustainable and it's allowing me to enjoy multiple aspects of Minecraft all at once. And with that, everyone, I do believe that is all for me today. I will see you all next week for some 1.19 content and also probably a little shopping district update for my end of things. I'll see you there, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.